Good morning, guys. Um, I figured I would start the vlog. Oh, damn it. It's afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's four past 12. I woke up at 11 because I start work at 6 p.m. tonight. So I figured I should probably sleep in a little bit. Otherwise, I'll be exhausted tonight. It feels like I have forever until I have to go to work. So I probably don't have to leave till like 5 p.m. So I have a whole another five hours until I have to leave. And I do not know what to do with myself. So I'm going to edit the last day or two of vlogs so that I stay up to date because I fucking hate having to do them all at once. It's just annoying and it floods people's um, subscription boxes and stuff like that. Not that I have that many viewers or anything like that, but I do have um, a rare few people who actually watch most of my videos, which is cool. I really appreciate you people. I never say that, but I like you guys. Um, watching Casey and I start video about leaving New York, I'm so keen to continue on this journey and um, get where I need to be so I can start doing what I want to do in terms of um, YouTube and stuff. But anyway, got my little girl here. Hello, Maggie. You little possum. You're so cute. I can't wait till I can take you for walks and like out to breakfast and stuff. It's going to be really cool and you'll love it. I swear. I want to feature her more in the video so that I can see a change. I wish, like, obviously I don't want to put the camera in her face and show her burying her teeth at us and bite, trying to bite us and stuff, but I wish I'd film more of that so I could do a, like, a before and after video, but she'll get there. Um, Emily said she was patting her this morning, sitting next to her, so it's all going well. Um, so yeah, like I said, about five hours till I have to leave. I think I'm going to start my day with four scrambled eggs for breakfast and then just uh, take dinner to work. Oh, excuse me. Um... I'm going to go to the gym and do a push workout. I'm going to um, also jump on the treadmill to get my steps up because to get 15,000 steps, I'll have to get them all before I go to work pretty much. I might need to get to about maybe 12,000 to ensure that I can get it before I finish work. Um, that's probably about 10 k's worth of walking. So go on the treadmill for a bit and then just sort of chill at home and stuff. We'll see how I go. But yeah, I'm um, really determined and... To be quite honest, the weight's not coming off on the scale, but I know that that's just the way it is. I've got to stop using the scale as my metric for success and instead use the way that I'm feeling as my metric for success. And I already feel as though I've made progress with my mindset. Obviously, I'm eating really well. Check if I'm still filming for some reason. I'm eating really well and I've smashed it with training this week. I, what did I do on Monday? I can't even remember back that far. Monday, I got 15,000 steps and I went to the gym and did a pull workout after work. I'm pretty sure I did that and that was good as. Um, and that was after an afternoon shift. And then on Tuesday, I went to CrossFit as well as went on a, on a strength run. And then on Wednesday, I went to, and got 15,000 steps. On Wednesday, I got 15,000 steps, went to CrossFit. And then yesterday, I went on a 12K run and obviously got 15,000 steps. And then today, I'm going to go to the gym and do a push workout and get 15,000 steps. It's just really awesome. And this is genuinely the way that I love living. It requires sacrifice. At times, I'm going to be more tired because I can't get as much sleep because I've got to get up and go to the gym or I can't just come home from work and go to sleep. I've got to go to the gym after. But I've come to the realization that probably one of the happiest times in my life was last year in about maybe September, October, where I was lifting at the gym, Muscle City. And I was going really consistently, like five, six days a week. I would go after night shift. Um, and as a result, I was eating really well, I think, as well. Besides for, you know, the weekends, I would, I would have cheat days and stuff, but I wouldn't go as crazy as I've been going here. Um, and I think a part of that was I knew that I was moving towards something with the lifting five and six days a week. I was really making a lot of progress and gaining a lot of muscle and just feeling really good. And I think that I need to get back to that. I love CrossFit and I'm determined to go at least three days a week for good because it's just really good for your cardiovascular health and for your overall strength. But I also think that this week I'm going to do four workouts in terms of, sorry, two workouts at the gym, a push and a pull workout. But I think I'd almost like to get back to the point where I'm doing four gym sessions again a week, push, pull, both twice, three CrossFit and three running. It sounds like a lot, but at the same time, if that's your hobby and you enjoy it, there's no reason not to do it. And I know that lifting at that volume is the thing that's gonna make 
me continue on with healthy eating and it's the thing that's going to make my body change at a really rapid rate and I believe I'm capable of it. For instance, today I can go to the gym and do a push workout. Tomorrow, technically I could go to the gym as well because I don't start work till 5pm tomorrow. I could go to CrossFit in the morning at 9am or, or whenever it is. Granted, I wouldn't be getting a full 8 hours of sleep but sometimes you have to sacrifice like I said and then I could go and do a push or a pull workout at the gym later in the day. I can do these things and I'm feeling that again and I know that I need to perpetuate it because this is honestly, like I said, last October, the best time of my life. Last year was the best year of my life by far and away. This year has been great, but I need to need to really finish it out strong if I wanted to be the best year of my life. And I, I've, kept, I've kept on getting better and better every single year for the past couple of years. And I'm determined to actually do it this time because in reality the thing that keeps screwing me over is my inconsistency with training and my inconsistency with my eating because it continually sets me back in terms of my confidence which does not help at work it doesn't help with my personal relationships it doesn't help with my relationship with Emily and my just my home life and this is a really candid chat I did not expect to have this when I started the vlog this morning I just know that if I can get back to how I was in October of last year when I was living with my dad, saving to buy this place and just really knuckling down and training and I know that I'll be happier than ever because at the end, like it's, it's not even about that. I know I will grow more than ever because I'm in the best position possible financially. Emily and I are doing very well, obviously. Um, our relationship is doing incredibly well. We're living in such a beautiful part of Melbourne. Like we're so blessed and I don't say that in a religious sense because I'm not religious, but we're so blessed to have everything we have. We have a little doggo who we love so much and none of it's perfect. Obviously we have a lot of issues with Maggie, but that's what makes it good. Like I said, I almost cried when she let me pat her. And I don't know, like I love when dogs let me pat them, but because I had to work so hard for it, it was just a beautiful moment. So yeah, if I can get back to the way that I was feeling in October of last year and be as motivated as I was then, I'm going to be absolutely killing it. And I truly feel like I've dialed into it this week and I know that I can perpetuate it. I'm working all weekend, so there's no chance I'm just going to be like, oh, I'm going to have cheap meals and blah, blah, blah. I am running the half marathon next Sunday and I'm tossing up whether or not to do it. How long have I filmed for? Bloody hell, seven minutes. Um, I'm tossing up whether or not I should do the half marathon because I might get injured. But I did 12Ks yesterday, and to be quite honest, I feel fantastic today. I feel completely fine. I know the half marathon next week, if I do it, I'll be lucky to complete it in under three hours. But at the end of the day, I'm not trained properly. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, there's all these things that I, like all these goals that I have, like I set up all these goals for later this year with races and stuff. And I, honestly, I, I'm not doing my 50K. I've already said that. I'm not doing it because I know I'll injure myself. That's my goal for next year. I've been inconsistent. And to be quite honest, I haven't been smart with my goals. I try, In May, I tried to get back into running too quickly and I was doing 30 kilometers a week really, really quick. I started out with five half an hour runs. That's too much. It's too much at the weight I was. It's too much given how inactive I was for so long. What is better is what I'm doing now, which is three runs a week. One of the runs is like three kilometers, another is about five, and then the longer run is 12, like yesterday. That is so much better, I'm not gonna injure myself. I'm determined to do every single race that I've signed up for, except for the 50K, because the 50K is the one where I'll get injured. But at the end of the day, I've just, oh, I don't know, I feel so motivated right now. I can't even tell you. Um, it's a ridiculously long clip and it's very rambly, but yeah, I'm determined to just smash this out and to get, get to my goal physique and start just living the way that I want to live. And I'm living the way that I want to live right now, but obviously I need everything else to catch up. That's all I'm going to say for now because it's a ridiculously long clip. I'm going to edit the video, um, videos the past couple of days, stay up to date, clean the house a bit, go to the gym smash it out today it's going to be an awesome friday i'm actually really excited to go to work I'm feeling so much more confidence at work and it's just incredible i love my life i'm very grateful for everything that i have it's a wonderful spot to be in i'm going to end the vlog here because i will be getting home at about if i'm lucky like two if not 2 30 or 3 if i'm really unlucky maybe even later than that so i figured i'd end it now um had a really productive morning after I filmed that first clip, 
the long rambly things are going to be good clip. I uh, obviously put me in a good mood because I went to the gym and I did 30 minutes on the treadmill, just walking. And then I did a push workout, my first push workout in ages, and it felt incredible. Um, I forgot how long it takes to do the push workouts, but they're so worth it. The way my body was looking in October last year, I just gotta, it's got to be done. Um, and then I went for a walk around my neighborhood for just over 30 minutes, which means in all I've got 10,400 steps. I wanted to have a few more before, excuse me, before I went to work, but I think that's going to be enough to tide me over. Um, I'll be able to get to 15,000. Mona Magnolia. I've just fed her her dinner because Emily's going out to a play tonight, so Paula and May will be home alone until uh, about 8 o'clock. She hasn't bared her teeth at me in ages. Oh, she let me pat her before. I just love her so much. She's beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I start work at 6. It's almost 5 o'clock. I just ate my dinner now at 5 o'clock and I've just got protein bars and snacks for the rest of the day because... Yeah. Because... I prefer to eat dinner at home. It's more enjoyable than taking something to work, cooking it here, taking it to work and reheating it. Um, anyway, I'm going to work. So thank you for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.